Welcome to Strictly Come Roundabouts. Today's show is coming live from the Welsh Valleys and our lineup of special contestants today have been training hard all year in preparation for this event. We have people from right here in the UK. We have Italians, we have the French, some Germans. We have buses, vans and even a cyclist this year who thinks that they may have what it takes to master the roundabout. So let's see what he can do. First up is a Land Rover Freelander, a black 2013 edition. He turns in good speed, no indication, but manages to go around in the correct manner, as does the little Volkswagen with nice indication. But the blue Ford has got it all wrong. Oh dear, it seems he has misunderstood the rules of the competition and he's gone the wrong way around that roundabout. Unfortunately, that is, in fact, a fail. Next up is a little Vauxhall Mocha. Good position, nice indication, but he drives straight over the middle of the roundabout. But look at the Ford following behind. Far too fast, far too much body roll. Well, that may not actually be a fail. Some points may be deducted for carelessness, as he did have to break hard at the end. Now let's have a look at how the boys from Sweden do things. Good entry speed. He chooses to go very wide. No indication but he does in fact navigate round with a high level of accuracy. Next we have a small Italian contestant, same as the last guy, there is no indication but goes round in a very cautious manner. That might be due to the sun shining down on the road making it harder to see what's going on, followed by the Corsa that does a very bland and uninteresting attempt at navigating this roundabout. Taxi just clips the edge with his back wheel so in fact means he has failed and so has the Mercedes, but the Honda Civic puts on a nice display, going around the central island, very graceful, a very nice bit of roundabouting from the Japanese. Now let's see how the French do, the little Peugeot taxi, he's lining himself up for a fail, and he's gone the wrong way around the roundabout. That could have been quite messy if anyone was entering a roundabout from the left. A big, big fail from the French today. Big BMW, looking good. Not often they get this right, but it seems they have things under control today. Up next is our first professional driver of the day, driving a 2013 edition of the Stagecoach, traveling to Glynifod. Good approach, goes very wide. Good indication, looking good so far. The passengers are looking very pleased. This is an impressive display. You can tell that he's mastered the art of roundabouting. It's going to take a lot from the other contestants to beat this level of skill. Next up is the second attempt from the French. Hopefully this goes much better than the last one. Good position, good indication, nice smooth turn and makes a nice exit. The French are back in the game. Nissan up next with good indication, very slow and calm journey round that roundabout followed by a Kia who just clips the edge with his back wheel. As before, that in fact means a fail. Now it's time for us to take a look at how well the Ford manages to... Oh no, he's changed his mind. He has in fact took a shortcut to the finish line. Not even attempting the roundabout it means only one thing, that he has failed. The French and the English have joined forces for this next attempt. How well is it going to go? Not very well it would appear, as both team members have made a complete mess of that roundabout. Let's give the Italians another chance. A Fiat 500 on steroids is up next. A very slow attempt from the Italians, followed by a Ford Fiesta who fails to indicate and a little touch of the brakes on the exit. The Germans are up next in the Volkswagen. Good speed. The indicators don't appear to be working, but that's because he's gone straight on instead of going round. 999. I'm not sure if he understood the rules of this competition. We may give him another chance later on. Our first van of the day, good speed, good indication, goes wide, nice, smooth turn, perfect exit away from the roundabout. A very impressive display from the French this time. Now it's time for a different kind of contestant. We have a cyclist, the most unpredictable of all road users. These ones have no indicators, so we would require a hand signal from this guy. He goes wide, using the pedals consistently. He's made no attempt to signal his intention, but does manage to complete the course with excellent precision. The Germans are having another bash at this. Good entry speed, heavy on the brakes for some reason. Looking a little confused to be honest and just clips the roundabout with his wheels. So that unfortunately means he has failed for this one. Coming up behind, we have another bus with a female driver. This could go one of two ways, but I think she is in fact another roundabout master. A full 180, back to the way she came. These guys absolutely love to show off. Now for some Japanese luxury in the form of a Lexus, going very slow, failed to indicate far too slow. But look behind, we actually have a taxi driver using his indicators. He still cuts the roundabout, but it's nice to see them signalling their intentions for a change. Team Ford make their third attempt at doing this correctly, but it's not looking good for the Fiesta driver. With a Teddy mascot in the front window, drive straight across the middle. It is not looking good for the Fords today, is it? 
another Volkswagen shows us how to do it properly. This time, no indication, so points will be deducted for that. And now for our final group of contestants, a 4x4 from Mercedes should put on a good show. But changes his mind at the last second and decided to cut the roundabout. That means he is going home empty-handed today. Another German showing us that rules mean nothing. Exiting the roundabout on the wrong side of the road. 999. The French are having a final attempt with the questionably coloured Scenic. One of my least favourite cars of all time, but manages the roundabout with average precision. As does the bus from Hirwan. Indication in both directions. Once again, these heavyweights just love showing off. It looks like we have a bit of a problem and the cars are lining up on the exit. There seems to be a bit of a blockage somewhere. It is confirmed we have a hold up caused by a Vauxhall Agilia. There are people on the roundabout blocking the exit. The red Vauxhall should have stayed there but he's chosen to add to the congestion and park right in the middle of the roundabout. Some very, very poor planning from the Vauxhall driver. The blockage has now been resolved and we can see the little Toyota battle its way around. No, no he's turned in far too early and in fact mounted the central island, removing himself from the competition. Okay, last one of the day, we have a Toyota carpet van. No indication just yet. He taps the brakes, he's lined up for a big fail and it is all over for the Japanese. And that brings us to the end of the competition today. As you can see, navigating a simple roundabout is extremely difficult. But before I announce the winner of Strictly Come Roundabouts, I'd like to thank all the contestants for taking part in today's competition. We're going to count up the points now and be back with the results after this quick message from our sponsor. If you're looking for a cheap and reliable dash cam, check out the G1W. It's what was used to make this video. It's a low-cost, set-and-forget 1080p dash cam. If you fancy something a little more impressive, have a look at the A119. It's packed full of cool features, records video in 1440p, and can also do 60 frames per second. Check them out in the video description. Okay, so the votes have been counted, and I can confirm that this year's winner of Strictly Come Roundabouts is... The Stagecoach number 9 from Glyneford. The master of manoeuvres, the king of cornering, and the royal highness of roundabouting. That is it for this year. Have a great Christmas, and I will see you in the new year.